Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to properly display a video in your Zoom meeting. And this is especially important in higher education as teachers are doing distance learning and they want to share videos with their classes during their class meeting. Here I have two examples of videos that I want to play. One of them is on my computer and the other is on YouTube. Oi crianças, tudo bem? Eu quero fazer um vídeo rapidinho para vocês. Alright, and this other one's on YouTube. Hi everyone, today we're going to look at Adobe. So in one case I'm playing a video that's on my computer that I want to stream. In the other case I am actually streaming a video from YouTube that I want to also broadcast to my Zoom attendees. So how do I go about doing that? First of all I'm going to start to schedule a meeting either on zoom.us or on the desktop client. We'll get this started. Now I have my meeting running and I'm going to show you how I want to share my screen. I have a couple of options here. For one video I have on my computer and I want to play it through a media player and stream that video. For my other video it's on YouTube so I want to pull it up in the browser and I want to play it and then stream it not only to my computer but then broadcast it out via Zoom to the other student computers. What I want to do is make sure that these two options are checked. Optimized screen sharing for video clip is important because by default it's difficult having a Zoom meeting over the internet. We have several webcams, we have audio, and we want to make sure that we can hear and see each other. And that's why sometimes when you play a video on the receiving end it doesn't look that great. It looks kind of choppy, it sounds kind of bad. That's because we're asking a lot from the internet. We're asking it to work really hard and the internet doesn't know that there's a video that needs to play at 24 frames per second with crystal sharp audio. And so we have to tell them that by the way we're going to share a screen and what we're going to share on the screen is a video. And so Zoom is going to move around resources to optimize the bandwidth. It just means that it might shut down a few webcams and it might alter things to give priority to the screen that we're sharing so that the video comes across clear. When you click on optimize screen sharing for video clip, it automatically checks this box called share computer sound. That is really important when you're playing a video because if it's not checked then what's going to happen is you're going to play the video and the sound is going to come through your computer speakers, out your computer speakers and into your microphone and you're going to lose a lot of quality that way. It's the difference between a sharp web conference audio using computer microphones versus dialing into a conference call on a telephone. It's just going to sound a little bit underwater, a little bit muddy, and so we want to make sure that the sound comes sharp and that what your students are hearing is the sound that comes directly from the video and not something that's being picked up by your microphone. So with these two options selected, I can play my video. Now I have two ways to do this. I can select the actual application where the video is playing. In this case, either Windows Media Player or the browser that I'm going to be playing the YouTube video in. Or you can select whichever screen you have the videos running, which is probably what I'll do right here. But those are options as well. So I'm going to click screen two. With these options selected, I'm going to share my screen. And so now my participants can see my screen. They can see this media player as well as this browser. If I'm going to share this video, what I'll do is maximize it to full screen and hit play. Oi crianças, tudo bem? Eu quero fazer um vídeo rapidinho para vocês que não puderam comparecer. So I'll go ahead and minimize that, and now I'll play this video. I want to put it in full screen. It's your choice. You don't have to play it in full screen, but I think that that's the best option, just because some of your students might be on Chromebooks, or they might even be on tablets or phones, and so you want to make sure that you optimize the screen that they're viewing. So I'm going to maximize this full screen and play a few seconds of it. Hi everyone, today we're going to, you're going to click share and publish and within these menu items you can click on the embed tab. This is going to give you an iframe. So just a few seconds so that we can see what that looks like. So I've now exited out of my Zoom meeting and I recorded that session and so what I have on the screen here is a recording of the Zoom meeting and I'm going to play back the few seconds that bit that we just did so that you can hear and see the quality of the video. Oi crianças, tudo bem? Eu quero fazer um vídeo rapidinho para vocês que não puderam comparecer. And within these menu items, you can click on the embed tab. This is going to give you an iframe, some embed. And I'll go ahead and pause that. That just gives us an idea that the video and the audio came through in the Zoom meeting.
So just to review one last time, as you share your screen, you just want to make sure that you check Optimize Screen Sharing for Video Clip. It'll automatically select Share Computer Sound, and then you can share and you can play the video on your computer, and it'll stream cleanly and seamlessly to your recipients.